AND Magazine, producers of the AND Magazine show for 6TV, Southampton. Loudspeaker, so don't say anything you would be ashamed of. Mal, we are, um, <laughs> we want to come to your pub in half an hour and film. In today's issue of the Anne Magazine Show, Martin and Jez are, as usual, meeting the people of Southampton. We also got record producer Barry Upton checking out the local talent. And wait for it, Martin belly dancing. I think we'll leave that one to last, though. Right, yeah. Oh my God, what's the question? Oh no, what's the question? Yeah. If you were a TV producer yeah. and you could bring out a local television show, yeah. what would you put on it? Um, something for girls. Something for girls? Yeah, like... Be well, because you're a girl? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah, something about, like, celebrities, something like so that. So if we like... could find a comedian for you that would tell a joke, yeah. that would be really cool, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. that's a coincidence because we have got Mr. Freeman over here. Hello. How are you doing? All right. Not too bad. That's a coincidence. You walking along like that, wasn't it? Oh, it was, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a joke, Dan. Go on. No, they're really long and rubbish. Are they? Yeah. Well, you're not a very good comedian, then. <laughs> Dan, this is your chance. It's going out on TV. It's going on local television. Walk around. Come back with a joke. <laughs> All right. We're going to the bank now. We'll be back. That's no good, is it? You've got How'd you get to Wales in a car? How'd you get to Wales in a car? I don't know. Up how the do you, you've got to let me finish it, haven't oh, you? Yeah. I don't know. How do you get to Wales, to Wales in a car? All right. You Up see, I thought you were talking about going to Wales. Yeah, I was. You know, how do you get to Wales in a car? Yeah. Isn't it? Is a is a line. Yeah. Not as you get to Wales in a car. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, see, yeah. Do it again. Right. How do you get to Wales in a car? I don't know. How do you get to Wales in a car? Up the M4. That's better, isn't it? That's yeah. good. That's better. Okay. Bye. Right. Bye, girls. See you later. Snap survey. Time for a survey. We're doing a bit of a survey on um, local sandwiches, actually. And we just wonder if that's a really good sandwich. It's a very good sandwich. Is it? And where did you get that sandwich from? Boots. Oh, I do sandwiches in boots, do they? Oh, I didn't know that. Right, and, and are they really good crisps? Brilliant. Okay, because we're going to put together a little show on how good everything is. What do you that's reckon? interesting. Yeah, I'm probably lying, aren't I? I think so. I think so. Yeah. If you were putting together a local TV show, what would you want to put on it? What's your name? Francesca. Francesca, mm. right. What would you put in your local TV show, Francesca? Probably a bit boring, but something about babies. What, your baby? Yeah, about things in the area. A nice show baby. about Francesca's baby would be yeah. cool, is that what you're saying? Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, right. How about yourself, who are you? I'm Cat. Cat? Yep. Uh, not a real cat? No, no. Okay, so, okay. And mm. what would you put in it, Cat? Um, just, just for... Oh, I don't know really. Um, perhaps things to advertise things for people to do, you know, rather than what's going on, what's where going you on. can go. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, nice talking to you. Thank anyway, you. bye, ladies. Bye, bye mate. <laughs> I don't quite know what's going on here, but I think we're going to ask. Uh, excuse me, um, sir. Hello. Yes. I, I couldn't help but notice you were having a bit of a tea party. That's right. Yes. Um, yes. Can I ask why you're having a tea party in the middle of Southampton well, precinct? Uh, we are attempting to eat Southampton. Oh, you're you're actually eating Southampton. Yes, I see. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Is it going to take very long? Three days. Three, <laughs> three days. Yes. That probably sums up Southampton, does it? Yes. Well, well, we, we, we're we're pacing ourselves. You pacing. Know? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You can't try and eat the whole of Southampton at once. Right. So, so we're eating it bit by bit. And, and there you are, the, uh, the the waiter looks very spiffy. Can I have a word with him? I should imagine so. Yeah. Um, and what, what can I ask you? Have you got anything under there? A bit of the bar gate or something? Sadly, there's nothing under here at the moment. Whoa! But the next course will be served in about half an hour. The next course in about half an hour, okay. Well, I'll just ask one of your customers. Uh, excuse me, um, <sighs> madam. Um, are you enjoying eating Southampton? Oh, it's, it's fantastic. It's a wonderful experience. Yeah. I haven't, haven't been here myself really so it's, no it's uh, wonderful yeah have you eaten many cities before no I, I tried um, I tried Winchester once but didn't really get very far so uh, I heard Southampton the old was, cathedral got stuck it, it, it was yes a bit, bit of a mouthful 
Yes. Shall I try and get you a few more friends That'd now? That'd be fantastic. It, is there anybody who would like to join them to uh, help eat Southampton? All right, well, have to see. Uh, who do we have to see? It's, we've got the admirable Crichton over here. Oh, you've got loads of friends now, fantastic. look. Fantastic. Right, well, we'll... Excellent. And who have we got uh, joining here, then? Maisie. Maisie. Are you um, fairly hungry, Maisie? No. You're not hungry? I just had McDonald's. Just, you've just eaten McDonald's? Yeah. What, the building? That's, I see. Who's no, this over here? I'm Joe. Joe? Yeah. Shout out, Joe. Jim. Joe. You can't be shy now. You've got an audience. Yet, uh, and who's this? I'm Catherine from Red Hot Press. Catherine from Red Hot Press. And we're running workshops. Oh, excellent. On Sunday and Monday. You've missed me printmaking, actually. I've been here doing it all afternoon. Oh, Catherine, we were eating um, part of the Lower Bargate or something at the time, probably. Come along on Sunday and Monday and make an original piece of art. Right, so you heard it. It won't be in time for you guys, but this is Catherine, and Red that's Hot what she's Press. been doing. Right, thanks, folks. Barry Upton reporting for AND Magazine here in Bournemouth at Mr Smith's. This is Baz's Star Search and we're looking for talent, so it's acoustic night tonight. Let's see what we can find. Give me answers to explain how you're feeling Give me a notice of a fiction or a phrase you can think of with a meaning Cause what she said last night you knew cause of fight and it showed me what I already knew that the girl you said was just a friend was more than that to you You're sleeping around And I don't wanna hurt the Okay, so here we are, but it's kind of backstage area with uh, Katie and George Tizard, who you saw on stage a moment ago. And uh, how did you find that? Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, it was good fun. I'm a bit hot on stage. But it was <laughs> so you're both from, around, from Bournemouth, and uh, the great thing is you're brother and sister. Now, how, how does this uh, come about? Well, uh, first my mum got with my dad, and then yeah. uh, yeah. came with that. That's how it works, apparently. Both from really local, so it's... Uh... <laughs> so does this mean that you have a musical sympathy with each other? Uh, I guess so, I guess so. Um, That's what you're going to call it. You come out, are you happy no, there? No, or... <laughs> <laughs> well, we're on stage, I suppose, that it doesn't stop her giving me some nasty comments or whatever, and I don't take it too personally. Well, I was going to say, you looked like you were getting on pretty fine, but usually brother and sisters, aren't they supposed to fight? Yeah, well, we do, yeah, <laughs> yeah, in rehearsals and whatnot, which there aren't a lot of, actually. No, that's why we fight. <laughs> okay, so how would you describe your music? I mean, um, you sound like you have quite a bluesy sort of background. Lots of smoking. No, I'm joking. It's okay, now, where, where does your music come from? I mean, what, what sort of music influenced you to write this stuff? Michael Jackson. No, I don't write it. George writes it, also. Um, I'm really, really into um, hip-hop, and I'll then the about. stuff that I usually write is kind of girly pop rock. Okay. Um, but then there's a little bit of hip-hop coming in there, as you saw from that rather from the rap. rubbish rap. <laughs> no, it wasn't a rubbish rap. I mean, you know, it was worked with black It's because a lot of people in there know that <laughs> I'm not it. very black and, you know. But where we live, we live in the middle of the forest. There's not a lot of gangsters running around, you know, with their trousers around their ankles. So I can't, like, grab one to use one. So is that called New Forest Rap, then? Yeah, that would be Pony Rap. <laughs> um, pony Trap. Pony, yeah. pony Trap, Pony Rap. Yeah. Pony <laughs> and it's... It worked, it worked. So how long have you been singing together? How, how did this all sort of start? He's been singing for uh, four years. Yeah. And I started last year. And um, I played with another band who I played here with before. But it's the obvious thing to kind of sing together because we're brother and sister and we get more attention as well that way. Okay, <laughs> okay the, a president has been set by Natasha and Daniel Beddingfield about the right. brother and sister thing, so <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that, emulating them? We're kind of different though, because um, Natasha and Daniel kind of did it by themselves and they're very different styles, you know, Daniel's kind of more poppy and she's more kind of R&B, whereas we're kind of trying to combine it so that I'm writing stuff that will suit both of our tastes. Okay, and how do you see it developing? Um, slowly at the moment, because it's... <laughs> 
it's quite difficult to write for Kate because she's obviously so, doesn't want to sing pop and she wants to sing sort of Joss Stoney stuff. So you're going to build up a following around the local area and then see where you go from there? Yeah, we've, we've sung in London a couple of times and we'll be back up there again in the next month I would thought. And where else have we done? Birmingham and oh we've only done here. We're going to start sort of trying to give you want some money because it's a very poor job. Then. So we want to try and do some covers band kind of stuff around the building just to earn a bit of cash and then we can slip a couple of our songs in there and so people will hear it when they don't know they're hearing it. <laughs> Not a bad idea. And then when we release a single like that. Okay, well good luck with your music and um, let's hope to see you in the charts in the not too distant future. How about <laughs> Brother and sister. And Magazine, producers of the And Magazine show for 6TV, Southampton. Right, he does all my stuff at home. <laughs> We're not taking that, Jason. Okay, I'm ready for it. It's actually quite nice, I like this. Bit of paintwork. We like to encourage things that are funny in Southampton. And this is certainly funny. For your eyes only there, and just there, the funniest sign of the week. Good one, guys. Did I just make a mess of your jeans? That's great. It's, 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 they're not new jeans, but they're clean, you know. Yeah. Um, so. Well, new clothes are both gross, grossly overrated, aren't they? Uh, yeah, much better when patched up. And yeah. If we're sitting here with um, Bob Musker, uh, owner of the Dolphin Hotel, and I'm particularly fond of Bob because he used to loan me his dinner suit <laughs> when I had to go anywhere posh. <laughs> um, Did you ever give me that back? Yeah, I washed it. Because I'm one missing. No, I washed it. Dicky bow and everything. I'm sure. I'm you missing. had much bigger shirts than me, though, if I remember rightly. Yeah, yeah. thicker neck. Yeah. Need one in this business. Yeah. We're sitting here in Dolphin Lane, which has been completely transformed um, from what was basically a yard, wasn't it, Bob, yeah. before you had it? Yeah, it was, a, it was a route through to the car park, and uh, uh, these were old bedrooms on the ground floor, which weren't particularly popular, especially with ladies who don't want to stay on the ground floor. And behind you there was a, a stable block, which was just full of junk, yeah. just storerooms. No horses. No horses. That's no. <laughs> it. But now, I mean, you've got, it, I mean, it is lovely. I, yeah. I know we're, we're sitting with you, and it certainly helps in the sun. But um, it's, whose idea was it to transform it to a lane with little shops and hairdressers? Well, it was ours, work? really. I mean, it was sort of really looking at the square footage and saying, well, what is it? What's it earning? What's it doing? Mm. And we've, we, what we've managed to do is create a nice little community of businesses, from offices to hairdressers to glamour and glitter glitz which is like a costume hire and they all seem to get on very well together all the all the shop operators and all the businesses and it's a nice little community here now yeah it's i mean and the the hotel has that changed changed much i mean because it's always been a landmark hotel the door well yeah i mean we we, we refitted the whole building because um, you've got an art you actually run one of the things that's of interest um in particular to me is that you actually have a, an ongoing exhibition of art oh, all yeah. the way through the hotel, don't you? Yeah. So, I mean, the staircase is a gallery, uh, and everything on the staircase is for sale. Every bedroom that we refurbished uh, was um, an individual artist was commissioned to design each room. Uh, so we've got 65 rooms, and each one is totally individual. Uh, and as you say, there's bits of art all over the place. So there is this theme going through the building. And they're local artists, aren't they? It's, it's in the a main, local it started like that initiative. Way. But yeah. then they're friends. And, and we've got pieces in from Cyprus, from South Africa, from 
all over the place yeah. in Spain, everywhere. Well, jolly good luck with it, Bob. We'll, we'll be down here parking in the car park in the future. <laughs> <laughs> you and everybody else, yeah. I'm here with the ladies at Breeze and they're residents at Dolphin Lane so we thought we'd just ask a resident, what's it like at Dolphin Lane? I mean, is, is it, do more people know about it? Do lots of people know about it? Um, lots of Not people enough people know about it. It's very quiet. More people need to know about it. More people need to know about it. Bottom of the high street and it's really nice here it's actually. Lovely. Especially in the summer, you can have nice drinks, sit outside, beautiful. Yeah. Really nice. Everyone's and nice and friendly. Even the hairdressers, apparently. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. And hiding at the back there. Is it nice here? Yes, it's lovely. Off camera, she was saying she worked at a lot of places and they were all nice and they're... Oh, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, it's right. a nice environment to work in. You know that you're not in the centre of the city and you can come away from the hustle and bustle outside. Yeah. So it's nice to come here and relax. There's no way you'd, you'd think you were like 200 yards from the bar gate here, no, is it? No, not at all. And everyone that comment, comments on it thinks it's like some muse in Winchester or somewhere in London. You feel really out of the city environment. It's nice. No, this is Southampton. Southampton is a nice place. We've got to talk more about it. People have to find us. People have to find them. <laughs> and the other shops. Yeah. We'll see you later, girls. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, here we are at Woodlands Community College, and we're going to do a little piece on some local ballet dancers, um, which should be very entertaining. Um, local ladies, and they're going to be strutting their stuff for us uh, upstairs in just a second. Let's go and have a look. Right now, Annie should be in there with our belly dancers, and I can see them all. Oops, I can see them all acting like trees or something. They're not doing a lot of belly dancing, but perhaps there's a bit of stretching. Don't know if you can see that in there, Jess, can you? we'll do is we will sneak in and announce ourselves and hope we don't get thrown out or too badly maimed. Hello Annie. Hello. <laughs> um, hello ladies. Look astonishing. Um, I know this is a bit of a shock but we actually knew you were coming down here obviously to do some, right. some pictures and talk to the ladies about do you mind if we gate crash for a minute and just ask you a couple of questions? Yeah, very obliging, very obliging. I've been followed. Hi ladies, I'm, I'm Martin. I'm really sorry to just barge in like this. Who, who would you I'm be? Teresa. Teresa? Yep. And I won't ask all of your names. Do you, have a, 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 do you have a name for your group? Yes, we're called Mystical Fusion. Mystical Fusion. And are you mystical? <laughs> very... <laughs> Okay, well, what we'd like to do is to perhaps see what you do, and then perhaps we can ask you a couple of questions afterwards. Certainly, yes, and feel free to join in. Feel free to join <laughs> <laughs> Go on, whatever you want to do. I'll do it with you. I'll, okay. just, I'll, have, yes. I'll have a crack. <laughs> I haven't got to put any of that gear on, have I? I've got a bit... <laughs> Put a belt on. Somebody else has got a nice manly colour and I've got pink. <laughs> okay, where do, I, where do I go? Next to you. I see. Got the limber up.
Um, Wait a minute, after three, three. It's not professional, is it? <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. I, I think I probably have, have ruined. The, I'm sorry about the view from behind for those ladies that were. Um, I'm sure they enjoyed it. Were looking. <laughs> it's actually very difficult, isn't it? It's harder than it looks. I made it look difficult. I know, <laughs> but it's 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 harder than it looks. Um, it is, yeah. Some people say that it's quite easy, and once they try it, they realise it's all in the hips and about keeping everything else still and not wobbling too much. Well, I, I can do the wobbling too much, but not in the hips, actually. Just practice. Yeah. I think, I mean, how long have the ladies here been, been practicing? They all look pretty good to me. Um, half of them have been coming for about four years, um, and the others anywhere from two years to a few months. This is my advanced class, and I also do a, a couple of beginners' classes as well. And have you, have you, I mean, I asked, have, you, have you got to have a belly to oh, do yeah. this dance? Yeah, I mean, does it help? better, yeah, <laughs> definitely. So, so of all these ladies, before they came here, they, they were all not, sort of no bellies, and you've made them sort of like... Well, I wouldn't like to say... I'm not going there, am I? I'm not going there, no, let's not go there. But, but, uh, presumably, what is this, fun, fitness? It's a bit of both. I mean, I started doing it for fun, um, but obviously it keeps you fit at the same time. And we've all become good friends, and it's a night out with the girls. Um, and we do public performances, we dance at schools, charity events, and it just gets us out of the house, away from our husbands and children, and just gives us something to do. How, l how long have you been doing it? Uh, probably about two years now. Two years? About two years. Obviously yeah, enjoy it. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah, really good. And does it mean, if, you, if it's belly dancing, that you can go for a beer afterwards and no problem? Yeah, that's what it's all about, having a good time. Having a good time. I'm pretty confident. And pretty sparkly things. Hey, I like my pink thing. That was so cool, wasn't it? You don't do aerobics with diamonds, on, do you? I don't do aerobics, <laughs> actually. This is, these are very ornate costumes here. I mean, do, do you make the costumes yourselves or do, no, you, do you buy them right. sort of in the corner shop or something? LittleBlueGenie.com. The lady over there runs that one. <laughs> Good ad. Nice plug. <laughs> well, ladies, thank you very much for, um, for having me. <laughs> And, and I'll, I promise to, to do all the practice that you've given me and I'll try and improve. Thank you very much for letting us interrupt your class. Thank you. Pub in half an hour and film 